everyone, my name is Renz. Today, I'm going to show off how you could build a recommendation engine in 10 minutes. It's going to use Crew AI, Reviate, Docklang, and the Access Search tool. In combination, a recommendation engine is going to take an input of a TV show or movie, and we're going to find the most similar one based off the given input. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and get started. So how is this going to work? We're going to need to pre-process data. We're going, our data source is a spreadsheet of a bunch of movies, right? This is available on Kaggle, so you could easily download this and follow along. And I'll link this down below as well. Our movies, we have titles, what kind of, uh, of movie or TV show, the director, a cast, you have the country, date added, description, and listed in, right? And there's a couple columns here that are super important. But what we need to do is generate chunks for every single row in this spreadsheet. We're going to have a couple things that we could store as metadata, and we're going to generate embeddings and store those into a vector database. This is what we need to do first. So have good data in, and hopefully we could retrieve some similar movies when we use our Genesis RAG application. And then we're going to create a vector query tool that our agents will use to find relevant movies, TV shows based off a given input. And this is kind of like the orchestration flow that I have defined. So what we're going to input is a movie and a TV show. And our recommendation system will do a vector search on Reviate, finding, let's say, the top three to five recommendations based of a given TV show or movie. From those lists, we're going to enrich that data, finding uh, relevant details online using the Excess Search tool, and then present all this in a structured recommendation. So structured output. So let's get started with some code. And also, before you get started, we have some prerequisites for getting started officially. So if you don't have Crew AI installed, you're going to need to install Crew AI using Crew AI and Crew AI tools over here. You need to sign up for Reviate Vector Database and set up your sandbox environment, and then sign up for X uh, search tool as well. So, all right, with that, let's go to code. So the first step that we need to do is generate the chunks and metadata. Our document converter is going to be imported from Docklink as well as our hybrid chunker. These are going to enable us to take a spreadsheet like this or like this into something our vector database can use. And then Docklink uh, document converter is going to convert that source into a Docklink document that we can now use within our chunker. And our chunker is going to give us an iterable or a list of all of these sources. So, and then from there, we're going to take particular rows and columns and generate uh, metadata using things like the directors, the type of movie, right? Is it a movie or a TV show? Uh, who are the cast? Who were, uh, what was it listed in, right? The, the genre. So what we're going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this uh, and let's show you kind of what exactly Docklink does. And I think the value of Docklink is being able to transform, again, this spreadsheet into something that we could easily see, right? So we see the chunk over here is pretty much every single row in the data in, in our spreadsheet. So we have chunk number 12 is the Starling, director is Theodore Melfi and women adjusting in her life and so forth, right? So these are pretty much every single row. And we're using the trimmed one for now, just so we don't get super, it doesn't take as long. But you can see over here, maybe, uh, which one was this? The number 12 was the Starling. Uh, it was a type of movie. And this is the metadata that we're extracting. The country is United States, the release year is 2021, and it's listed as a comedy and drama, right? And now, we're going to take this chunk and now store that into our vector database. We're going to connect to our Reviate Cloud. And again, all you need is your Reviate cluster uh, URL and API key. 
as well as an OpenAI API key. So why we need OpenAI's API key is because we're going to use OpenAI's embedding models to generate the vector embeddings for every single one of our chunks. And we're going to create a client called Netflix Data System 2. I already have one before. But for this example, we're going to write it live and we're going to show you guys what it's going to do. And again, the data that we're coming in is exactly the chunks that we've created before. So we're going to iterate for every single one and it's going to create the vector embeddings that store every single row of TV shows and movies into our Reviate cluster vector database. So this might take actually a couple minutes, uh, but once it's done, what we're going to see is we're successfully added into our docs and I'll show you how it looks on the Reviate vector database on the platform. Boom, this looks good. The client is ready. And now I think from there, we're going to batch process and put in all of these rows into now our vector database. And boom, we've successfully added it into our docs. And to verify that, go over to collections and now you have Netflix Data System 2 and you can see all the details that we've stored, right? From the description, release year, title, and so forth. And we're using the OpenAI's vector uh, embedding model, right? So boom, we've done pre-processing. Next is we need to create a vector search tool. Let me show you guys how to do that right over here. How do we build our vector search tool? When you're defining your tool schema, this is essentially what you want your agents to dynamically create and what makes it an agentic application or a agentic use case, right? The query will dynamically be created and we're optionally passing in some filter options, right? Filter by genre or filter by movie or show, right? And outside of standard py Python for instantiating and initiating a class, the most important things are just to connect to your client, and connect to the collection that you want to use, which is our Netflix data system. And then this is the most important piece, right? Take our Netflix data system and we're gonna find the closest vectors based off our given query. We're gonna limit it by five. I think our default we have for our limit is three. So that should be fine. And then what we're going to do is set filters if we do have any of them. And then every agent tool output must be a string. So we might get JSON back. So we need to do JSON to transform any objects or dictionaries into a string, right? And then if we want to try this out, we could do something exactly like this, right? Find me similar shows to how I met your mother. And then we're going to print the result. This looks good. Python, copy path, and then I think we can just drop this. Boom. And this is what we get. We get a result of three pretty close movies or shows to How I Met Your Mother. And the TV show we got is Why Are You Like This? It's an international TV show, a TV comedy, right? TV comedy is exactly How I Met Your Mother. There are a bunch of friends you know, always hanging out with one another and also kind of intertwining in some romantic like things, right? So I think these search results are pretty good. And again, you could find and, and tweak them as you go. But again, the what our agents are going to do is essentially create its own dynamic query when it's running this tool. And the inputs that we we also will pass will probably be the title of a movie or or TV show. And I want to also confirm with you that these are not being made up from you know, the LLM. So if we go to, can you hear me? Of the title of this and go to our spreadsheet. I'm going to search for how can, can you hear me? And let's see if all the details are right. So Melissa Bedard is, the, the cast is not here, but that's fine. But it's based in Canada, country's right. November 2, 2020, 2020 is the release date, perfect. And it's international TV show and TV comedy, perfect. And again, I think one of their characters was from Canada and How I Met Your Mother. So 
even closer when it comes to the recommendations that we're getting, right? So pretty good. Uh, and now what we're going to need to do is put all of these things together in defining our agents and our task, and then enriching that with the extra search tool. I'm going to show you that right next. So now comes defining our agents and our tasks. So our first one is going to be our rag agent, which is going to be called recommendation agent, which is going to generate a list of recommendations based off a user's query. A query could be like the movie that we want to pass in, then only use results found, right? You have access to the WeV8 database of Netflix data. You can use this tool to search for relevant information and so forth. And then we want to expand the details of our the movies that we found. Right, and we're going to do that using the access search tool. You have access to access search tool to search for relevant information. You need to prioritize information and make sure the report is details and contains any and all relevant information. And then we're going to now then use our last agent to aggregate all of them together and provide a report with the director, the title of the movie or the show, the country release here and so forth, and all those combining details. And then again, our agents are kind of mapped one-to-one -one with tasks. So we have a rag task, which is generate the list of recommendations based on this given query, and then review the context that you got and kind of enrich that using the search, the access search tool, find more relevant information about like the movies, the details, and the comparisons, and then a report task that we have. And then we can put all of those things together uh, like this. So Exa search tool comes right out of the box within Crew AI tools. So all you would have to do is do Crew AI, pip install Crew AI tools and you have Exa search tool. All you would have to do is pass in your API key. However, for the WeV8 vector search tool that we've made, we've kind of curated a, a particular one for our needs, right? We're gonna pass in some of the headers. We're going to limit now from three to five and our Collection name is Netflix Data System, and we're going to change it to number two, right? Because we updated it on our embedder on, during our pre-process. So the name that we want to put in here is whatever we have over here. And I think capitalizing it is fine. And then when we're going to attach the tool to our agent, our first one is the RAG agent, right? We're going to give it the WeV8 vector search tool. Uh, and then we're going to give our second agent the access search tool to expand the details that it's finding. And then the report agent is going to put everything together into a structured report for us to use for our end results. And then how we can trigger it is if you go to main.py, we're going to have a, a query like this. But instead of how I met your mother, maybe something different since we, we already got that. So. Let's do a query of find me a show similar to, let's do the office. And then we all you have to do is query I run and that will run our query, our crew. So running the crew, let's see our recommendation agents. We're getting a lot of recommendations, the five recommendations that we find, wanted. We can see the query, find me a show similar to the office, filter by null. No, and then now the recommendation agent is finding similarities from the movies that we're passing in, The Office, Life on the Road, through our access search tool, and now generating more details about that. And again, we're getting the, the scores for how close these queries are to our search query. Let's see. Our end result, I think it's done. We got an error, but that's fine. I will iterate and try to fix that. Parks and Rec, again, very similar to The Office. So that's a great recommendation. Let's see if that was even recommended here as well. Parks and Rec, perfect, nice. And now we're almost done. We're in the recommendation agent now. And here's our list of our five recommendations based of The Office. So we got Life in the Road, boom. Expanded details, you see the movie with mixed feelings. Our second one was set it up. Is that a TV show? Fresh take on the romantic comedy genre. And then we got great news. 
and then we get Parks and Rec. So let's try another one. Find me a show like Squid Games. Try filtering for international genres. Boom. Let's try this out. Let's see how it does. So our recommendation agent is running and we're starting to see our 10 list and boom, like we have our query shows like Squid Games filtered by um, listed in international. And again, I didn't put listed in, I didn't put how we want to filter, I just said filter, try filtering for international genres, find me shows like Squid Games, and we're starting to get exactly the results we wanted to find, right? International TV shows from Britain, South Korea, Singapore, and these are like the metadata is being generated. And again, just to show you guys, this data is here. So we go to the sources and filter it from here. I'm going to Command F. How do you Command F? Oh, we can't find. Oh, let's do it over here. It's the same. Boom, mind game is the TV show and it's based in Singapore. TV show, mind game, based in Singapore. So great, great suggestions for what we are looking for, right? And again, this is kind of like the concept of a Gensic rag where your AI agents are querying and filtering the way it needs to to properly extract relevant context. Right, and then the XS search tool, what it's doing is finding relevant details within uh, each show's finding and expanding the descriptions that we have to find more similarities as to why um, Squid Games to a show that's recommended have, why like they are being recommended, right? Uh, and let's see what our end result report agent is going to give us at the end of all these. So again, we have an expectation of a report with like nine to 10, I think, recommendations. And let's see. So obviously our first one, Squid Games, and then we got Loaded, Busted, Mind Game. Um, it's in Singapore, Expanded Details is the show intricately weaves psychological twists and suspenseful narratives, challenging viewers to grapple with the question about morality and justice, which is kind of what Squid Games is, right, from, from that perspective. And yeah, we get 10. We could turn this into structured data that you can actually use when you want to begin recommend, recommending uh, TV shows or movies if this is a use case that you have. But again, I think this is what sh we show uh, but yeah, I think this is a great segue of being able to build out recommendation systems and just like a little bit of time, right? Uh, recommendation systems are things that usually take a lot of time and resources to create, but now with some data, you can easily start to scaffold uh, uh, MVP of a recommendation system for any of your use cases. So if this was valuable to you, please leave a comment down below, give it a like, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and staying until the end. See you next time. Peace, guys. Bye-bye. So yeah, I think this is a great start to a recommendation engine, right? In like 10, 15 minutes, you're able to generate and pre-process embeddings to then leverage agents to query against a vector database. This is a super simple guide to start building recommendation engines with AI agents. And again, super awesome to use tools like Crew AI, Docling, Weaviate, and then the Exus search tool to put everything all together. So that's it for me. Uh, comment down what you guys wanna see next. But yeah, this is AI agents and RAG and recommendation systems. Thanks guys, see you in the next one. If you found this video super valuable, 
be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Thanks, guys. Peace. Bye-bye.